What's the worst compliment you've ever received? What I hate is you're too good for this job. If I'm that good then please hire me because I need this job. I have great work ethic, and work well with others. Your legs are nice and fat, said by an old lady I visited at a nursing home. She explained she wished her legs weren't so skinny now that she was old and frail. Wow, for a girl from Kentucky, you're smarter than I expected you to be. Now if you would just lose that silly accent. This was from a manager at one of my previous jobs. Um, thanks. I work part-time at a non-profit. I recruited a friend to volunteer and he was excellent and very popular with the staff. Towards the end of my tenure, it was a one-year assignment. My boss told me that recruiting this guy was the best thing I'd done for the organization. She didn't mean it to attack my previous year's work but frown. She was probably right though. You're too pretty to be a lesbian. I couldn't even respond beyond a face palm. What am I supposed to say to that? I was speaking German with the woman who told me you sound like a southern German. I was really excited that my accent sounded authentic until later in the conversation when she said she could never understand southern Germans. Have you looked in the mirror today? In the kid's offense he was very young. After I told him that it was offensive he told me that he was saying he thought I was pretty. He told his teacher after. Had an old German or Austrian man come into my library weekly and ask me to print out instructions on how to do maintenance on his new smart car. One day he asked me to save a video of an oil change to a CD. I did so quickly and when I handed it over he proudly proclaimed, you did that so fast. Hitler would be proud. I picked my job off the floor and never saw him again after that lull. I work maintenance on process control equipment in a factory. Our five-man shop worked on a problem for about a week. They gave up on it, including my boss. I kept at it and eventually found the problem, fixed it. My boss's response was, that's a good find. If that was really what was wrong, Someone told me a few weeks ago that they loved how I smelled like hot dogs. They said it was so sexy and asked if they could suck, lick my fingers clean. Both happened, sorry. First one also told me quite seriously that all men who like small breasts are pedophiles. Yup, mine are small. Second one told me the way to truly evaluate whether a woman is beautiful is if she brushes her hair straight back out of her face. He then suggested I come into work the next day with my hair brushed back. I was like, so you can decide if I'm beautiful. And he very happily said yes. Those aren't compliments though, or even compliments. I genuinely have a hard time gauging my own size in the mirror and have issues getting on a scale sometimes slash don't own one. I had an eating disorder as a teenager and I think aspects of it never fully leave your mind, if that makes sense at all. And so I had asked a close friend of mine how I looked. For context, I hadn't seen her in a few months and I was feeling good enough about myself to be able to even ask someone for their actual honest opinion. She told me that I didn't look fat but that I looked well fed, not going to lie. No matter how good I thought I felt about my body at the time, it definitely kicked my butt into gear back into working out, but not starving. Not me. But my mom, back when she was going through chemo and she lost her hair, my dad thought he'd be humorous to cheer her up. What's up, Uncle Fester? Dad slept on the couch that night. You give me so much confidence to dress like you do with a similar body type. It was a legitimate compliment and part of me was glad I had help but part of me will always be devastated that just wearing cool clothes is an act of courage because I'm chubby. I was asked to chair a session at a conference that was online. During the instruction on how to chair they told me I needed to prompt the speaker to stop at 14 minutes so there was time for questions. 
so I did. At the end of the conference when they were thanking everyone I was thanked for monitoring the time so closely. It felt like an odd comment, like, I did what you asked me to do. My second pregnancy did not go great. I had such severe and persistent nausea the whole time that I was losing weight. I couldn't afford to lose, and the list of foods that would reliably stay down was like five items. I was prescribed Zofran for the nausea but it could only do so much, and my insurance would only cover five pills per week. And out of pocket it was hundreds of dollars. They lasted eight hours. So five days a week I'd have an eight-hour window in which to try and get calories, but I also needed to time the pills so that I could work. Long story short, by my due date I was genuinely afraid the hospital was going to try to give me eating disorder counseling. What actually happened, though, was worse. My son was born by C-section at 6 pounds 2 ounces, and as the doctor was reassembling my abdomen, he said approvingly, I can't even tell you were pregnant. It was the first of many horrifying compliments I got on my postpartum body, and I always answered with something along the lines of I was incredibly sick, this is not healthy. The kid and I both got up to a healthy weight within a few months of his birth. Being able to eat is great. Your band is great. You don't hear that kind of music anymore. Yeah, we're hoping maybe it'll make a resurgence. Yeah, it probably won't. You guys were good though. I once had a patient, who may have had a touch of dementia, basically go on and on about how she thought my clothes were awful and that my hair was doing nothing for me and I should be doing something to change my look. Then at the end, she said listen. I'm only telling you this because I think you're a beautiful girl. If I thought you were ugly, I wouldn't say anything because there would be nothing you could do about it. I'm a woodworker. The first piece of furniture I ever made was a media storage cabinet. When it was finally done, I brought it into our family room and my wife said, Wow, it looks like a real piece of furniture. I was once told. I knew when I broke up with you that you'd have a revenge body in no time. We dated for a few weeks. I was relieved when we decided to stop spending time together. I pretty much never thought of him or missed him after he left. He told me I had a good revenge body. Truth is I didn't tone up or lose weight I simply wore better fitting clothes, and somehow credited himself for it. What? Hey! Demos. Girl told me she was glad that I lost weight because she could finally tolerate being around me. My personality didn't change in those two years, but it taught me so much about the important society places on brain fit to the point where I understand the body positivity movements. It's not about being healthy, it's about respecting those with differences. You're really fun to sleep with. Though, the context here is that they had just explained how they thought about asking me out, but decided against it because they never saw us working. I was pretty devastated as I had just built up the courage to officially ask them out earlier that day and was planning on doing it that night. I was eating dinner in a diner between teaching college classes and the manager of the restaurant scooted into the booth. He asked me if I'd worked for such and such college five years ago. I said I had. He said, you won't remember me, but I was a first year student in your class and after the final exam, you pulled me aside and asked me what the hell I was doing because I was actually intelligent but had spent the entire semester dicking around and now I was going to get maybe a B when I was capable of an A+. You told me that I should stop dicking around because I was capable of so much more. What you said caused me to reevaluate what I was doing. I ended up buckling down and finishing my degree while I worked here. I've now been accepted into medical school in Alberta in September and I never would have done it if you hadn't kicked my ass. And, like, it was really nice and all. But really dot 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 my off-handed post-exam remark to give him shit was what initiated his epiphany dot 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 it wasn't my brilliant teaching or anything. 
Maybe there are others that were worse but this came to mind. An older lady told my younger sister, who was standing next to me, that she was so beautiful and had such a lovely face and pretty smile. And then she looked at me and said, and you're pretty too. The way the lady said this to me, made it clear she was saying this out of pity. I am pretty, just not as pretty as my sister. If you worked out more, you could be a model. Oh, so, I'm okay looking, but I'd look better if I worked out. Yeah, number. My goal in life isn't existing as arm candy to boost your ego. I don't like being judged by my looks. I just don't want to scare off any kids at the grocery store when it's not even Halloween. Take me as I'm in love all of me or sad off. An old woman in a nursing home came up to me and my friend and told us you girls are so beautiful and then loudly whispered in my friend's ear but obviously one of you is much better looking than the other. Definitely hurt my feelings a little. When I was losing weight and not quite at my goal weight yet, my so-called friend told me that I didn't need to lose any more, and what I thought was the last few pounds was probably just lots of loose skin that I would never, ever get rid of. I was doing a mock interview in a class and had to list some of my best qualities, which has always been quite awkward for me, but I was able to come up with a few that I thought were true and relevant. Empathetic, dedicated, patient, friendly, hardworking. There was a short pause and the instructor goes to the rest of the class. What do you think, the worst which s best qualities are? There was probably at least 30 seconds of complete silence until one person I guess took some kind of pity on me and went, Oh. You? Know a lot. Of stuff. The instructor hadn't even asked the class after a single person who went before me answered that question. A creepy math teacher that my cousin and I both had was also the JV boys soccer coach and he remarked on how fit and good my body looked during track practice to my cousin. She was in the class period before mine so I didn't hear it myself. She told me right after it made me feel super violated and I was very uncomfortable in his class for the rest of the semester. I was mistaken for my father, who was rather dead. I inherited some of his shit, and the name registry bounced back on me. I tried to nail shit down, was careful with records, but missed this one. Very kind man. So it wasn't so much an insult as a jarring moment. I guess I felt complimented that someone thought I was him, but it was weird as hell. Some backstory. I was the first grandchild in my family, so I was the only coherent kid at a lot of family gatherings for many years, and after that I was the responsible one who kept all the little cousins amused and corralled. This meant I was the focal point of all the mums aunts and old ladies to gab to and about while the men talked about sport and stuff, so I developed an affinity for entertaining 50 plus yo women. Apparently, that's an energy that stuck with me because even though I'm now nearing my 30s I still get Gen Xers and Boomer gals tell me what a nice boy I am, and I've started to really resent the comment because I actively try to be a grumpy asshole that doesn't want to talk to anybody. If you are a little taller, you be the perfect BF for me. Context, said by this girl that I was totally infatuated with. She had a nasty breakup with her BF, whom was one of the more popular kid in uni and he spread some nasty shit about her. I was always there to make her laugh and feel better about herself. After she said that, I knew I never had a chance with her romantically. She was 5 apostrophe 10. 5 apostrophe 11, I was 5 apostrophe 7. Sort of, told my 7th grade math teacher my weight, 200 pounds. Teacher, dang you hide it well, I'm always wearing jackets to hide my size, people think that I just have a big jacket on. Nope, the outline of my figure presses closely against the jacket. I don't know how people haven't noticed that most of the mass they are seeing isn't a hoodie or fancy jacket. 
just things like, you've lost weight dot dot but now you just need to tone up, you look flabby, you could be a model but your face has too many scars, if only you were thin, you'd be so prit, my favorite is when they say you are so brave, all because I shaved my head. I have to say you are both much more intelligent than I thought you would be, said by the husband of my host family in England, we're both American, bonus from my mom, wow those jeans look good on you, unlike all your other jeans. Not my compliment, my sisters, I'm like 5 feet 2 inches, she's 5 feet 9 inches tall, leggy blonde, we are Irish twins, I was born in January. She was born in December of the same year, now, my hair went grey early and I wear glasses, she was 45, I'm 46, we go camping, group of guys fishing at the lake compliment her as we walk by, you're a good daughter to take your mother comping they said to her. Yup. It's a good thing I can depend on you to keep secrets, huh? Oh don't worry about it I know you don't talk talk to people. Literally I got complimented about being really good at keeping secrets because they thought I had no friends. You know, your face is actually kinda pretty, said with a tone of surprise. We were teenagers at a sleepover, lying on our stomachs in our sleeping bags with only the hall light partially illuminating our faces, so, if it's really dark and my face is at just the right angle, I might be mistaken for kinda pretty. For context, I was always the fat kid in school, horrifically bullied and made fun of for my looks. The same friend later badgered me into telling her who my crush was, then told me that was too bad because she had a better chance of dating him since she was skinnier, joke was on her, he turned out to be gay, and he and I were inseparable best friends for all of high school. At the end of primary school, we did a compliments list thing, we would all be given a sheet with our name on it and we were to pass it around the whole class and tell everyone has theirs filled with compliments from everyone else in class. Everyone in my class was a popular kid and all my friends were in the class next door. Nobody knew what to write so everyone just wrote tall. Everyone in class was about 5 apostrophe 0 and I was 5 apostrophe 8. And one person wrote good looking to take the piss. My ex and I broke up about two weeks ago. It was a nice relationship but ultimately we just wanted different things. It lasted about 1.5 years. We used to have a biology class together where we sat next to another. One of the first compliments she said to me was I find your breathing really relaxing. God she was surprising haha. <laughs> wow, for a girl from Kentucky. You're smarter than I expected you to be. Now if you would just lose that silly accent. This was from a manager at one of my previous jobs. Um. Thanks. She's so beautiful. She looks like Hillary Clinton. This was said to me by an Indian dressmaker while shopping with my mother-in-law and boyfriend. My male happily agreed. My boyfriend cringed. I was 21 and I did not. Nor do I. Look like Hillary Clinton. I got a new shitty job a few years back. About six months and I was told by family member well I can tell you make the big bucks now while getting patted on my belly. I wasn't making any real money, wasn't eating due to stress. I did in fact gain weight as it was stress fat, eventually made it out of that place, but my body is still damaged to this day from it. Them. You're one of the healthiest people I know. Me? Me my throat hurts today. Them. Maybe you have sleep apnea. Me? So healthy people can get it. Them. No just morbidly obese people. Note. I get a dry throat every summer. You'd make a good fry bitch this was at heart attack grill from the owner to a friend. This was also after he asked if she was pregnant. She wasn't. This was at the Arizona location when it was still a new thing. Wouldn't recommend. Wow you look so different. You look pretty today. What did you do? You must be very good at makeup. Yeah I am. You must be very very good. 
you look so much better. I'm skinny, my metabolism is all sorts of whacked up from ADHD meds as a kid, that made me really not like eating while they were active. I used to be borderline anorexic and told constantly by girlfriends how much they loved it. I've always hated it. I'm now 170 pounds, 6 feet 2 inches, a fairly average weight and I'm finally happy with my body.